Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Um, I've decided I'm going to start doing a few videos here and there for my students and really anyone who might want to learn some songs. Um, just as kind of an experiment and we'll, we'll see how it goes and if you guys decide you want some more then I'll keep doing them. Um, and they're just going to be kind of introductions to songs and I'm going to start by doing the ones that I tend to teach the most often. Uh, the ones that are most popular. So, hope you enjoy them, and uh, let's jump right into it. So, the first one I'm going to show you is called The Irish Washerwoman, and I decided to do this one first because it's one of the more popular ones, and uh, one of my personal favorites as well. So, I'm going to start off by playing it for you, and then we will talk about the different parts. Okay, so let me just kind of break the song down a little bit for you. Um, we start off in first position, okay? That's what most of the A section is. Now, if you notice I used a pick when I played this for you. Um, you can use a pick if you want, or you can use it as a finger picking practice as well. Either way works, you could even do both. I think that would be great. So, um, anyway, we're in first position for the A section. Open notes. And uh, all of the notes are eighth notes, and so you want to, you know, practice keeping a really steady rhythm. Uh, we don't want any pauses where there shouldn't be, and you also want to make sure that you're not speeding up or slowing down at all. So, um, okay, that's pretty much the A section. Now, the B section is a little trickier. It usually takes a little bit more time, so I'd recommend splitting them up, working on the A section for a while first. Um, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the melody we just played, we're going to move it up an octave, okay? Um, if you don't know what that means, it basically means we're taking the same notes that we just played and moving them to a different spot on the fretboard. Um, and the way that I think about the B section is you're going to be playing two chord shapes, okay? So instead of thinking them of them as individual notes, let's press down all three notes at the same time like you would a chord. Okay, now this first chord I would think of as a D shape, okay? So hopefully you are familiar with your first position D chord, okay? So all we're going to do is we're going to take the same shape here, we're going to move it from 2nd fret all the way up to 7th fret. So you can see I, I kept my fingers in the same shape there, okay? And then you're going to press all three down at the same time, just like that, okay? So that's the first chord shape. The second chord shape is a D chord. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to use first finger on fifth fret, pinky on seventh fret, and ring finger on seventh fret as well on the first, second, and third strings. Okay? Now, this chord tends to be a little trickier because it's a, a bit more of a stretch, so you might have to practice this one a bit. Um, and then the second chord sounds like this. All right, now, after you've got both of those chords out of the way, we're going to transition back to first position uh, where we started in the A section. So you have this, this part where you have to play fifth, third, second, A, G, F sharp, and I find it best to just use one finger, okay? So going from this shape, I'm just gonna use my pointer finger. Okay, and then we, get to the last part of the song. Um, it's kind of this part where we 
we play this descending melody, uh, and then we keep going back to a G note, okay? So it's like E, G, G, D, G, G, C, G, G, B, G, D. Um, so if, if you notice, I, I held that G note down. with my ring finger the whole time, okay? And then we're gonna end the song the same way that we ended the A section, okay? Now, that's basically the whole song. And the last thing I'll say about it is that uh, the version I give most students just has the melody, but if you're interested in adding the bass notes, um, that can be a great kind of chord melody practice, so it's more of a, a solo guitar arrangement. Um, so I will play the version with the bass notes for you so you can see what that looks like. Uh, if you think you want to try that out, then let me know. I can send you the music. Okay, that's the whole song. That's the Irish Washerwoman. Um, hope you enjoy. If there's any questions, obviously feel free to let me know. And uh, hopefully there will be more videos in the future to help you uh, progress with your playing and learn some fun songs. So until then, happy practice.